So today we're going to be replacing a handle on a UPVC window. We're replacing this because of general uh, wear and tear. You can see here, uh, paint's come off, it's rusting away because there's a lot of moisture in the room. It doesn't lock particularly well, but once we get it locked, you can actually see that the rust keeps falling down here onto the uh, tiles and staining the silicone. So we're going to replace this. So this is pretty much the equipment you'll need. A screwdriver, something to measure with. You may need some pliers, a hacksaw if we need to do any cutting and we've got the handle itself with its fittings. The thing you might need to do before you decide on which one to order is just to make sure that the screws uh, are aligned to the new one that you're going to be using. So if we take this off, um, we can see the screws there. So most of these fittings between this screw and this screw are 47 mil. So we'll just double check that. The one that we're buying is around about the same. And you can see that it's roughly the same there. It's around about 47 mil. So once you've committed and you've bought it, you've got your handle, uh, the key, the cover, it's just to cover that end. You will get two screws. And the unique to this packet is you do get different spindles. So it's got a small spindle inserted, but we can actually choose the right spindle uh, for the window itself. This saves us time on cutting with this hacksaw. Um, but we may still need to cut these screws with the hacksaw. So first up, just going to take the screws out. So just unscrew these. They look a bit warm, but let's get them out. And we'll also do the second one. That one's warm as well. So this should just pull off now. So if we pull that, you can see there's a small spindle and there's the two screws. These give us templates to work from with the new screws and the new uh, spindle. So two handles. If we slide the old one across to the new one, I'm just going to check the spindle length. You can see that this old spindle is a little bit longer than the one that's inserted here. Fortunately for us, we've got some extra spindles we can replace this with. Now, if you chose a handle that didn't come with extra spindles, it will normally come with a longer one, perhaps 40 mil, and you will have to cut this down with the hacksaw here. Um, but we'll be, I think this one will work. So in the closed position, old and new, we're going to take this spindle out because it's too short. And we're going to replace it with this one that came in the pack. Just inserts in there. And then we're going to line these back up. And just double check that they're around about the same size. So you can see there, we're pretty much there. Uh, and now we can insert it. Next up, cut the screws to size. So I can cut these and use this, the original as a template, cut them. Some people use the originals that were already in the window, but you can see how worn that is, so it's better for us to cut this today. So we're just going to insert the spindle, handles in the open position, and then we'll just put the screws in. First one in, and we'll tighten that up with the screwdriver now. So I'll tighten these up now. Second one. I'll quickly check that it works in the open and closed position. Fine, we'll close it. Looks good. Open. Nice fit. Final thing is just to put this protector on here. So push that in. Should just clip. There you go, done.